what's up guys I've Neros again this video is another add-on review or an add-on walkthrough as I like to call them and today's add-on of choice is going to be Silver Dragon now for anybody who doesn't know what Silver Dragon is this is sort of the intention of the video um, if you're into achievements um, hunting rares maybe you're hunting the lost time proto drake or you know you know any rare that you're, you know, maybe you're doing the achievements for that, killing all the rares in Northrend and Outlands. Um, well, there's a really, really easy add-on for this. The best one I've found so far when they keep it up to date, and that is Silver Dragon. So I'm gonna let me just turn the volume down. I'm just gonna go into, gonna go into the options of Silver Dragon, and it's there. So basically, what you, the main things you need to do when you first download this add-on is you need to go to data management I'll clear all my rares now so you go to data management uh, and you will click import data and as you can see in the bottom of the screen there it's imported 482 rares it usually flicks up with a rare um, like it brings up like a target frame that when you're within range you click it it will automatically select the target um, <clears throat> so that's what it does when you're out and about you just you know chilling flying around um, and the, and rares will pop up as a, a, a nameplate that you can click and uh, target sometimes they're dead sometimes they're alive um, it all just depends on your look I suppose on your population of your server but basically <coughs> um, that's what it um, there's only one problem well one thing with it that if you're looking to um, hunt or to look for uh, the mysterious camel figurines which are in Oldham which hopefully eventually you would get the the figurine you need to to take you to the the boss that drops you the the mount the camel mount and gives you the camel harder title um, they don't uh, you can't click to select them as a target you have to it will alert you that, the, that it's somewhere near you but then it is you, it's up to you to then go and find it as you just no click to target ability with them um, <coughs> but other than that every other, I mean it does have its issues where you, you might be just sat in Orgrimmar and it will bring up a rare you, you know it's, you clearly know it's not in Orgrimmar so it has its little bugs but generally on a whole it's very good very useful and I've used it for a long time I do use it with two, another add on though because one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't incorporate paths like you see these paths the red path and the green path and the blue path with the if you can't over it disappears but you can see in the corner of the top right hand corner it tells me which rare is at which of these locations by colour so and that's not part of silver dragon that's part of npc scan overlay so i use silver dragon for actually targeting the rares and picking up the rares and i use npc scan overlay for the paths because if you're in an area where you're not 100% sure exactly like I've hunted the, the Lost Time Proto Drake so much I know exactly that that's his, that would be the path I would follow but as an example if it's your first time hunting the Lost Time Proto Drake uh, you know it, it pops up on your screen like whoa I've got I've, the Lost Time Proto Drake is somewhere near me but then it flies too far away that you can't click to target you're going to be screwed because you're not going to have a clue as to, to where it's gone you know, so you could end up setting off in the total wrong direction. By the time you eventually find him, he's probably going to be dead. So, obviously, I'd highly recommend using Silver Dragon. But if you're going to use Silver Dragon, also use NPC Scan Overlay at the same time for the, the the patrol paths of the rares, because you know I've done it myself. I've come to an area, I've seen a rare pop up, I've clicked the target, and then it's not come on the target. So I follow the path from over, uh, NPC scan overlay and eventually I come across the the mob uh, that that was on my silver dragon so them two add-ons to me for me as as a must the, you know they must go together uh, unless you unless you obviously you you're totally comfortable with every single ray in the game and you know exactly where the the, the patrol and exactly where they spawn uh, then there would be no need but for the average Joe, the general wild player, you don't know where all the rares are, nor do you know where they spawn and you know patrol. I mean, if you look at this one as an example, the orange area obviously is the lost time proto drake in Storm Peaks. That's a massive area. 
you know it's 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 technically the you know the length of you know practically the length of storm peaks so you know it's a, an incredible area to search especially if you don't have any clue as to which way is going to go so them two add-ons for me as a package come together brilliantly uh, if if obviously Silver Dragon at some point incorporated a, a patrol path with their own add-on it wouldn't be needed but right now them two need to be together f for you to successfully and quickly be able to hunt a rare obviously a rare doesn't last very long especially if you're on a, a highly populated server the rare is not going to last very long at all because somebody will come along with probably a similar add-on and similar setup and kill it before you so <coughs> them two for me they, they go hand in hand um, once you have obviously imported your data on oh having a bit of a lag spike there yeah quite a bit of lag spike um, so once you've imported the the data uh, import data then you, you're pretty much good to go I mean, I mean you, you, you can sort of change it up there are various options. Scan on taxis. Now that's one that I've 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 heard people like and people don't like. Personally, I like it, but it can get irritating, especially if you know you're on a, you're flying from Nagrand up to Neverstorm, and a rare pops up in Blade's Edge. Obviously, you're gonna have to try and land quickly if you're on a put you know the 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 public Griffin or the public Wavering or what the fucking hell the hard thing's called but basically if you're on either of them two ma the, the public mounts um, for hard and alliance obviously you are going to fly over and then if you've got no quick way of stopping by the time you get back to the location where it was last seen it's probably going to be either dead or you know but the chances are the only option is it probably would be dead I have a, I have been lucky sometimes and still and found it but most of the time it's going to be dead so I mean all these options are obviously again the, the based on what you prefer um, I, I do have it, I don't have it to scan instances um, you've gone through that one again with these you can pick you know whether to announce rares in each of the following zones so you know if you don't you've got your Rafa Lich King rares completed and you're not particularly bothered about them anymore you can just take that off and then it will obviously not bring that up anymore and um, the sound to play there's obviously various different sounds I mean you just you know Pick them as, as you like them. Warning. Um, like I says, there's various um, sounds, and so you just just pick which one you prefer. That's that's the one I like. The NPC sort of drum, the NPC scan drum. I um, click the target. It shows the model, so it'll show a 3D rare. Basically, if you see my my portrait it'll sort of bring up something similar but like I know like it'll bring up like the basically the, what the wow look man's obviously reskinned from LVI but it'll bring up the wow look it'll just have like a, a 3d portrait like my my frame does now when you can just click to target the the rare Um, like I say they're all all different options that you you know so you can obviously sync with raid so if you're in a raid as an example you've probably been you, I mean a lot of people probably have been in a raid where a rare somebody's seen a rare and it's announced into raid chat um, that's what that is that shares with your party or your raid or you can ask it to be quiet so it doesn't share information I mean it all depends usually I prefer it to be quiet because obviously you know if, if you're in a raid around Firelands or, or even old wire and the lost time project pops up you're gonna tell uh, you know 10 or 25 other people or 24 other people that that you know one of the most rare mounts in the game is available right now so you can probably pick that to be quiet um, I, I tend to but yeah generally other than that there's not really much to go on it's a pretty simple add-on but it's so effective especially like say if you're wanting to catch rares in North End and Outlands or just general you know while you're leveling because they've added a lot in your know, in Cataclysm they added a lot of rares to zones like Duratar where I am now or the barons you know and they give a lot of xp when you quest it so highly recommend the add-on but like say especially for north end and outlands have npc scan overlay at the same time because unless you know all this, the, the the spawn points and the paths the patrol paths you know you're going to be pr pretty screwed um so yeah that's pretty much that add-on um uh, so i hope you like the video and uh thanks for watching